About 100 feet underground near the Anacostia River, the Northeast Boundary Tunnel got its first big test on January 9th when the area received record rainfall. And what we saw was that uh, the tunnel system, which can hold um, approximately 190 million gallons of, of combined sewage, uh, filled up. Uh, and even after you know we were able to pump some of that flow up at Blue Plains to be treated, um, the tunnel still filled up, uh, but that's 190 gallons, actually total of 267 million gallons that was captured uh, and treated at Blue Plains rather than overflowing to the Anacostia River. During a storm, it's sealed tight, but this is video of a test that John Lyle from DC Water shared. This is the water that is overflowing from the sewer line and it's fed down into the tunnel. So this is all the rushing rainwater, you know, combined sewage rushing in. It looks like it's controlled, it's not just dropping. We were invited to ride the train through the tunnel system and see the mining while it was under construction. The Northeast Boundary Tunnel went online in September. It's five miles long and is the last component of a 13 mile long tunnel system. The goal, going from 84 combined sewer overflows a year to just two. We did have an overflow of approximately 112 million gallons. Um, and so uh, it's not that we eliminated the overflow. John Lyle says we should focus on the big picture. The system is designed to capture 98% of, of the, the previous overflow volumes. It also catches trash. We asked the riverkeeper at Anacostia Riverkeeper if he's noticing a difference with the tunnel online. It is improving sewage, right? And it's lessening the amount of sewage that gets into the river. And so it's lessening the impact of bacteria and other microbes that can make people sick. Trey Sherrod took these pictures a day after the storm. What are you seeing that's different now with the Northeast Boundary Tunnel online? The amount of debris and the amount of trash on the river would have been much higher before the tunnel system came into place. Previous to the tunnel, we would have seen trash and debris like that clear across the river. While there are lights at four locations on the river that will signal an overflow, Sherrod is calling on DC Water to use social media as a way to inform us. There is no good reason why DC Water can't just start informing us, the public, on social media. Hey, sorry, we had an overflow last night. It was this much. Please stay away from water contact in this area for up to 72 hours. Lyle says there have been internal discussions about additional ways to get the message out to the public when there's an overflow. Both DC Water and Anacostia Riverkeeper believe the Northeast Boundary Tunnel is moving us in the right direction. It doesn't guarantee, you know, that uh, all of a sudden you can swim or fish uh, in, in the river, but it, it helps move us in that direction. For Chesapeake Bay Magazine, I'm Cheryl Costello.